<laughs> nah, I guess I'm back to myself, y'all. <laughs> I feel so good. I feel so pretty. I feel so relaxed. I feel so grateful, 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 grateful. <laughs> no, seriously, though, for real. Like, my energy, my mindset, my, my vibe, my cats, my house, my kids. I, I'm very, 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 very grateful. I need some lotion though, y'all, because my hands feel like, you know, that br brittle scrubber. And then I'm finding little stuff. <laughs> you know, when you start unpacking, you start finding stuff. I missed this thing. I never knew I could miss it this much. <laughs> I had to me some frankincense. Uh -huh. I burnt the black candle for three days, so whoever was in here, they gone now. But no, I haven't, I haven't had nothing but a peaceful sleeping. All cancer stuff, girl, girl. I've been in here chilling. And I've been at White Daddy House. Well, I think I'm about to go part time, y'all. Shout out to all my full time sisters and brothers out here. Y'all to go. Because I can't do it, y'all. I want to be at home. I don't care if I'm just at home cleaning up. I don't care if I'm cooking a home cooked meal, call me the housewife, okay? We should get options that have been on to be the housewife. And what the definition of that means? That means I can still go to work, I can still go to school, but I'm just at home. <laughs> that world out there, 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours a day? Why do I want to be out there 12 hours a day? What the fuck? Shout out to all the earth signs that like working themselves to death. I can't. Okay, I gotta tell y'all something. My brother-in-law, uh, my brother-in-law was just promoted. Uh, he had an honor ceremony. He's in one of them uh, elite um, military dudes. I mean, Navy SEALs in the Pentagon. You know he all the way up there. Up, 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 uh, uh, up. You girl, they up there. I was like, okay. So my other sister, she went to the ceremony and then I was like, you got to tell me how those kind of men are, because next time, we, pop, I'm popping the fuck up, okay? Next time you find out, don't tell nobody, I'm popping the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I got to pop up. You want to know why? Because I got to see. I got to see all of those those uniforms and those stripes and those pins. And then I got to hear how they talk. And then I got to have me an Uber on go. Because if it get to get the thick, I, I'm going to head out. I'm not going to embarrass nobody. I just gotta go. Okay, so how y'all been doing? Shout out to all the new followers and subscribers. And shout out to all my old ones that still love me that still fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't sit around and do it all damn day. And this so funny. Look, guidance. And that's literally what this is to me. Guidance. And look, surrender. Look at the way. This so funny. I watched this little short and the, the ladies was in the water like this. And then a big old whale had hopped out the water. And it said, it said something. And I dropped a tear, y'all. And I don't know what that whale said. But it, it, it sounded like, I don't know what it sounded like. It's like they, I felt like the whale was warning the ladies. And then made that big splash to to scare something else off and get the ladies time to get away. But you know, the short, so it was over there like that. <sighs> but I'm really, I'm so excited. Ooh, 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 and I just can't hide it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want to. I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to be saying. So what's the beat? Bring the beat in, y'all. What's the beat? What's y'all flavor? What y'all been talking about? Y'all been some little muties here lately. I, I'm going to start by doing the raffle next month. How about that? I mean, uh, uh the free readings next month. Because I need a man. I got to, you know, I feel like a kid. And I'm in Pee Wee's Playhouse. I got to finish playing in Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> okay. 
I gotta take my best friend mama out for her birthday. She wanna get that super fast smoked turkey wing and you get all the sides stew in there on top of that. Boy, you know where I took my son for his birthday? She said she wanna go there. So we up, we up and we going. We up and we stuck and we going next, next week. Going. We, we might can go before then because then I could just take that shit for lunch. What's the energy spirit and ancestors for uh Kim Philly or Cubs? So what's this vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Hold on. That little be script scrub ass word. Grounding. Oh. Oh look! Look at all of the crystals. It's the rose, it's the amethyst. That, that look like a tourmaline. That look like a clear quartz. Oh, that is so cute. Hey, Mikey, she likes it. I really like this deck. I like the what it be talking about. That when you read this deck, man, because I had curled up in a little ball at work and uh, and um was reading the book. The whole little book. But you know, there's always somebody gotta come distract you. Somebody always wanted to distract you from doing something. So the oh y'all, I have to apologize for calling my at work uh crush um queer. But I didn't, I had to, I was confused. I mean, you don't know no more, y'all. You just don't know no more. And I'm not nothing against it, it's just I don't prefer it. It's just I don't, you do not freaking know, but he gathered my ass, shit, straight gathered, flipped me up and reversed the hell out of me. But anyway, so tell us about this grounding energy for cancer, Leo, cuz, spirit, and ancestors. Grounding. Mm -hmm. Child, y'all been grounding. Say it, let's say it. Bitch, I'm drowning. Say, no. See, y'all was nine pinnacles yesterday or the other day or whatever day, and y'all nine the cups today. Mm -hmm. See, see, this is how I'm feeling right now. Just emotionally okay and happy and safe and pure. I'm okay. I don't need nothing. Anything else is a want. Right now, I don't need shit. I don't feel like y'all need a damn thing. Anything y'all get now will be definitely a one. What's going on? What's going on? I can't tell you. Okay. Can't tell you cups. There they go in the bottles. The babies are here. Waiting on their new mama to come get them. They got their little baths. They got their, look, these cars ain't looking over. I met the sweetest little uh, clear lady yesterday. She was just the sweetest. She bought my bookshelf. Oh, see, this is why you unbothered, cause you're not entertaining the bullshit. And the sword of your tongue is not to be tolerated. It's not to be uh fucked with. For the simple fact, you gonna give them what you need. They need to have. You gonna give them what their mama didn't give them. You gonna give them what their ancestors give them. Another thing, this could be an ancestor here. Telling you, go on, my sweet baby. Look at her hand. Ain't that grandma hand? Grandma's hands. Look. It's like, come on, my sweet baby. Go on, boo boo, my good girl. This is like when you going, running down the street real quick, and, and your mama like, go on, baby, I'm watching you. Look. That's for my daddy. But look at this. This is really just what I felt. It's the ancestors. Are you turning your back on it all? And you open up your pack? I just realized she had this on. I got this. Look, I got that. The red prayer beads. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. But the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. She's very sharp. She's a uh, non fuck wittable. <laughs> and, and and your sharp wittiness is have people like running around in circles. They get dizzy. You wanna know why they get dizzy? Cause it's like when somebody you know when somebody lying and you catch the lie, it's like in court. You you in court and you catch them in they bullshit, they start studying stuttering, they start trying to come up with riddles and then you catch them in a riddle, you catch them in they stutter. 
that's 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 what it is. A motherfucker that tells the truth at all, by any means necessary, you can never catch him because it's nothing to catch up. You told the truth. Not only that, the power that's within you, I honestly believe like you've been a queen of swords for a long time. And I actually feel like a lot of y'all or a lot of people is seeing you for the woman that you are or the male, excuse me, the masculine, the, the, the human, okay, the queen of swords that you are. And it's not the queen of swords. We all know this is an energy. You are very intellectual. You get the job done and you don't let nothing stop you. And people are starting to see that. Like at the end of the day, that bitch gonna push through. At the end of the day, that bitch gonna go to court. At the end of the day, she gonna say, do what she said she's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of people are starting to see that about, about you. And then you might seem cold. You might seem very direct and blunt. But at the end of the day, you wouldn't be in that energy if you weren't tested. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be rude. feel, Because to me, direct and blunt is the type of people I prefer to be around because that's who I am. So what DMX say? It's going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you. And I need it back. Give it to me back. Like... My best friend, the, her ass will eat me. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be sitting over in the corner popping like a little, little girl. But I will appreciate the truth so you don't hop me out here looking stupid. It's too many band-aided relationships, band-aided friendships, band-aided parents. No, you're not about to be out here looking stupid. I'd rather my son cry because I told him his pants look cheap and nasty then him to sit up there and go out there in the streets and get dog wind up in a fight or maybe even incarcerated because somebody said something and he cut he he tripped no i'd rather he get mad at me and feel the way about me instead of going out there looking stupid you dig Cause, <laughs> hey y'all, what is it about the, uh, the the case of water that the cats love? Cause they always get in the case of water. Listen, don't let your intellect make you to the point that you just a, a an emotional wreck. Maintain this balance. Don't get to don't get to doing this this crazy shit and be impulsive and you know calm the fuck down. Calm your ass down. Okay? But stay in this energy. And, and, and anyway, when you cold, you, you coming off as cold. You're not actually being cold because a lot of people can't take the truth. So they say, they make it seem like you mean and you nasty and yada, 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 yada. It's none of that that's happening. It's just you you, you don't got time for the yay, the, the yin yang and the thing, okay? Tell me about this queen of source energy spirit. <laughs> oh, bitch. Well, I'll be. I'm looking. Come on, that's that new love, baby. That's new love, new opportunity. You had the Ace of Pentacles yesterday. Now you're here for the Ace of Cups. Turn up. Uh, Y'all, my cousin mad at me. And she'll be all right. Not for an eye, right? <laughs> but this is the thing. So she had got something uh, like a couple weeks ago. What did she get? She, I don't know, I forgot. I told her, can you just hold some for Friday till I get dog on page? She was like, all right, how many you want me to hold? She wanted, what the fuck? I didn't forget what it was. Anyway, I told her to hold me something. Then I called her back today, Thursday instead of Friday. I'm like, what you got, what you got? She was like, oh, I had to go. I needed the money. So I was like, okay, bitch, hung up on her, right? So then before I sell anything on my, anything from my car to anything I got, I let my family know, right? So she like she need that washing dryer, bitch. So I was like, okay, yeah, you need to let me know by Friday as up. So she gonna sit up there and say, all right, I'm see what I can do. I'm see what I can do. So guess what? The old man came. The ace gonna give it to you. They gonna give it to you. He came. I wish. And he sh -sh 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 -sh. took the he took the washer dryer. And he took the uh, stove. I was like, oh, we'll take it. 
take it because I got all of that stuff here. So I'm like, oh, well, shit, just run me my money. Bitch, run me my money. And he paid me more to use the truck to move it. Bitch, run me my money. Anyway, so she gonna call. Baby, listen, just have a call me two days later and talk about I got $30. Girl, get the fuck off my phone. Because I, I wasn't trying to be mean. I wasn't trying to be rude. But that's all you came up with? You pop pussy ass bitch? So she got she, she gonna say, I knew you was gonna be in the soul there. I was like, isn't karma so sweet? She started, fuck you, bitch, da, da, da. click, I hung up. <laughs> Baby, I ain't no good. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. Anonymous, come here, let's have a talk, because you're the only one that seem a little touched. I think, he, look, Anonymous got a big head and a little body, y'all. Something wrong with Anonymous. Anonymous. Cyrus, did nobody call you? Spirit and ancestors, what's this Ace of Cups about? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm about to do y'all reading and say I'm keep y'all out my damn business. <laughs> <laughs> Look what came out in reverse, child. Well, what is this? Ooh. We gonna set it. Bye. We gonna let it burn. Who is this fiery new opportunity? This Ace of Cups ass energy. This Queen of Wands. Look at this. This somebody ambitious, determined, fine as fuck. Okay, she's equally intelligent. The Queen of Wands is intelligent. Okay, the Queen of Swords is intelligent and sharp. That's different, totally different, 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 different. This is the Queen of Wands is passionate, very mm, strong sexual charisma. She can lure people in very, very good. She has this this glowing beauty that's attract that's very attractive to people. Who is this Queen of Wands? So what's this Queen of Wands about? What's what's the tea, sis? What's the tea? Page of Wands is in reverse, some type of impulsive messages communication bad news what's the bad news about the queen of wands why is this page of wands in reverse it's some type of block communication the three of pentacles probably it's about an employer a job a partnership a relationship she probably could be calling to tell your ass something about a partnership or relationship a contract she's in with somebody or it, it, it really could go the opposite way now that I think about it. They might just want to collab with you. You might be calling her about a partnership to collab. Like you might be the owner, but she might be the worker type thing. What you crying about going there with your brother and sister? Why do he do that? I think he's a little off. He seems a little off. Or you might be interested in this Queen of Wands doing a business deal, but she she's kind of low vibrational right now. She doesn't have the energy to drive the ambition, the determination. You might be feeling drained at work. I gotta say this. Some of y'all might be on your 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 monthly. <laughs> Spirit out here saying all types of shit today. Either. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you two things. It might be somebody at your job is very low vibrational and might try to drag you into some type of bullshit though. It could be also somebody envious at your job or that has a problem with you and a connection. But it's most definitely something going on. Yeah, something something going on. Something is, is fucking up the focus around uh partnerships and relationships and some of y'all probably just not even focus on none of that shit at all 
You just you just focus on your business. It's, and I also feel like somebody at work telling you about who you messing with or something. I don't know. What is going on here? Why is it bad news about this partnership, about a partnership? Or you could be in business with somebody or something. What is this bad news about a partnership? Seven of Wands is in reverse. Somebody is about to surrender, give up. They fold and they walking away. Somebody is leaving a partnership behind. A partnership or a situation should be behind. releasing a business contract it seems like somebody is getting out of some type of business deal with somebody they're just giving up on the contract I, I, don't, I don't know what they're trying to say what's going on here why are they giving up in the past somebody could be giving up on trying to rekindle with somebody No, tell me about the seven of wands in reverse. I don't. Y'all not about to stress me out knocking all these cards down like this. It's gonna give it to you. It's gonna give it to you. Tell me about the seven of wands in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Okay, now you got a tower is in reverse. Oh, injustice. Wait, so this is a little, I can't say it right. Legalities, this is, this could be legal. This could be something that happened in, in, in court. Honestly, it seemed like someone, someone is finding out that they lost in court. Someone also could be finding, finding out that they won because somebody could have tried to take you on or you try to take somebody on that was out of your pedigree for the simple fact we seem to always think that we the ones with the one up we the ones with the win we the ones that spiritually guided and whatever but sometimes spirit lets you know sometimes you can possibly lose a, a situation it seemed like it was a i want to say a win-lose because good news to you could be bad news to somebody else if you understand what i'm saying it seemed like somebody couldn't take your sharp intellect Somebody wasn't able to receive your, um, your, your, the fact, you know how people think, they'll look at you and think that you're unintelligent and then next thing you know, like the guy told me the other day, they wanted to know how did I know this regional manager and shit like that. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, how did, how did you like know him? And I'm like, I picked up the phone. I mean, I went online and found out who the regional manager was and I picked up the phone and I called him. Okay, because kind of find out, look, it's drama already, y'all. I moved here, and now they mad because I talked to the regional manager. Why are you mad about that? I, he didn't do nothing to you. He didn't say nothing to you. How do you even know? This is the maintenance man trying to figure out how do I know the regional manager. What do you mean? How, how is that any of your business who the fuck I know? I don't understand people. But now, now after I let it process, I realized why he wanted to know. Because why the fuck? <laughs> and I'm not trying to be the problem because I'm not going nowhere. I love it here. It was just that the, the cabinet door opened and broke on my daughter. So why is this happening? So he flew over here to run and fix it, but he didn't want the message to get delivered to the regional master. Now, I'm not doing all of that. Now, I'm not about to run and tell him why why the crumbs on the floor. I'm not doing all of that. I just want to know why the fuck did this shit break like this? Like, what's happening? What you gonna do about it? He instantly ordered a new one. He never heard me tell nobody nothing. So, I thought he was the one having a problem. It's the mat, the, uh, the bitch in the office who told me nobody is above her. And she fucked around and found out somebody is above her. 
So she sat up there and told him, don't, um, basically don't go back and forth with me because uh, I basically a call on them. And I'm like, that's not me though. I called on them because after two months, a bitch needed to be smacked. And so a bitch got smacked. Because you, trust me y'all, please don't ever let nobody tell you it's nobody above them. If they not see you, CEO or owner, don't ever let a hoe tell you ain't nobody above them. And even after that, you get to the C CEO or the owner, you go take it to your fucking altar and you ask them what's the best way to handle this situation. But you don't sit back and let nobody dictate your doggone life. And it had been two months since I was approved to move in here and I wasn't moving in here. So then Friday before the holiday, the city failed the inspection and that's when she had me effed up. Because, I mean, Thursday before the holiday. So, how is it that for two months you were aware that this is my home and I was moving here and you ain't got this bitch where it's supposed to be? So, of course, regional needs to get involved and needs to know what the hell you hoes is doing. Because if I pay another month rent where I was, which I wasn't paying, but <laughs> I didn't have to pay. I was already told I didn't have to. But if I had to stay there another month, we, we was gonna have a problem because I had already had the, the uh, I had the CEO and the builder, builder's information. The build, I was calling the builder chick first because I was telling her of her infrastructure and yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the whole thing there. So I was just wondering why would he ask me that? Like, how do you know the regional manager? And I'm like, what? It just caught me off guard, y'all, why he would out the blue ask me that, and we was talking about something else. You always trying to cake. He the only one. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure this is it. He... <laughs> they ain't say climb every mountain on me, little nigga. Yeah, it's ghost, y'all. He the only one that want to cake. Okay. So some type of legalities is happening here. Somebody is trying to stop a tower from falling with you all, or someone is trying to stop a a, a top. Come on, bro, a tower from falling. Period. But I have to be. I have to tell you something. Something seems very strategized. Strategized. I cannot talk to that. It seems like somebody is really, really taking something more serious than what they're showing. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something else. This look like a spiritual warfare. Don't it? This looks like a spiritual warfare. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy for Cancer Leo. A new chapter. There you go. Headed towards your new chapter. And tell me about this Queen of Wands energy for Cancer Leo. And here she go again. Romance, chemistry, and mutual feelings. Now, romance, chemistry, and all of that stuff could be way more than it do not. Well, I don't know about romance, but chemistry. This could be a same, the same sex. <clears throat> I don't know about all of that. But mutual feelings and chemistry could be more than just mates. You could have a chemistry with a female friend. I mean, I ain't say go look a booty, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying it could be way more than what people over-dramatize this stuff out to be. But it seems like somebody is trying to stop something from completely coming to an end with you all. They want justice to be served on this. I feel like... I, I, I'm going to tell y'all something else I feel. Some of y'all didn't send... Some of y'all like me. <laughs> y'all can send an email that'll tear the house down. Blow the roof off a bitch. That's what it look like it's happening here. What you acting scary for? You the one wanting to get up here. I feel like that's what happened. And, and, and the fact that people are seeing that you're not bagging down, it's kind of like fucking their head up. Like, oh, oh this bitch ain't playing. Like, it's like the season of holding people accountable. That's what's happening here. People is being held accountable for their actions. And you are... You are just the crap to do it. <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> Tell me about this justice. J 
justice for the tower in reverse. It seemed like also somebody ended something based off of something else and now they're fucking upset because uh, somebody manipulated them. Somebody lied to them into ending things with you or ending a situation and they wasn't standing up to the end of the bar. Well, well, there you go. Figure the king of swords here in the reverse. I just said this. I literally just said that and the nigga sent me here the whole time. You got strong ass air in here. You got a manipulative air sign and you got a queen of swords that ain't fucking playing with his ass either. Nonviolence, nonviolence. Zeus, nonviolence. Ah, motherfucker, get your ass off of me. This motherfucking cat is retarded. I feel like the justice is you catching this person manipulative antics. Since he in reverse, everybody use a reverse or toxic day on a toxic ninja. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. This reminds me of Virgo Re. Oh, oh, oh. Time out and holding on. Oh, so they putting you in time out but holding on at the same time. Bitch, get your ass out of my fucking reading. See, people think that they can do this to you and you gonna go with it. But coming to, they're finding out that you're not. You're not going with this. And, and see, they want you to hold on. They feel like you... Get 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 away from me. Cyrus, come get this kid. <laughs> come get this little boy. <laughs> I, I'm buying you a bed, I promise. Because you was a caking little boy. I'm going to make sure you have a bed, okay, Stink? Why is this King of Swords gets in reverse? I feel like they know that you know some, yep, secret. Oh, this is crazy spirit. Go ahead. Oh, nah. Go on, girl. I feel like they know that you know their secret. You know something. And they're, they know that you know it. And it, it, it's like a fear thing. It's like they're scared, but at the same time, they're still holding on to the possibility that you still will fuck with them. They tried to manipulate a lie. They did. They tried to manipulate some type of lie. And I'm going to tell you something. This is someone who envies your stability. That's where grounding is coming in. I want Paul to be reading that. Bitch, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Crystal grid. I knew it. Knew it. That's so pretty. Ground, protect, recharge, and stability. And I think I done been recharged. Because the kind of energy I got, that's like that day I had that moonstone in my bra. And they kept asking me what was wrong with me. And I'm like, I don't know. I just had some mushroom coffee and some ginseng. And some ginseng. And then when I got home, I seen that moonstone. I was like, it was the moonstone. It said, our awakened soul is in crystal heaven, lying in the middle of a large healing grid in, in the grass. She has crystals all around her, main seven chakras on her body, connecting her to the rest of her of the grid, as she is the centerpiece. Aww. Stop, stop, stop. After a long week of stressful work days, managing her relationships and keeping her scar boundaries in place, she is in need of a grounding ritual to recharge and realign her energy. And I, 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 I am. I don't know what I did. I probably have already, but I need more. The stones are crystals of love, rose quartz, amplification, crystal quartz. I guess that's clear. Protection, black tourmaline. I called him out. I called him out, spirit. And divine communication, a kyanite. I did. I, I didn't. So the kyanite was this one. It wasn't what I thought it was. Okay. Oh, that's fine. In this space, she is connecting herself to Gia. Now, what did I see? Okay, so it's a movie with Angelina Jolie in it, and it's called Gia. And I kept about to click on it last night, and now I'm going to click on it. 
allowing the light and energy to become centered she breathes in light and breathes out anything that no longer serves her she is going back to the source for transformation and healing won't it do it see you bringing in that light and what else they say a clear she breathes in light and breaths out breathes out anything that no longer serves her and that's what the queen of swords do Queen of Wands bringing in that light, the Queen of Swords, anything that don't serve her, back is turned. So what the heck is helpful, Wands, Spirit, and Ancestors? Look at here, Queen of Cups. I feel like you're embodying all of the energy of all of the queens. You are in Empress energy at this time. I really do. I feel like you are in it. You're glowing. You're intellectual. You're grounded. And who else is it? Earth, water, wind, fire. Earth, water, wind, fire. You ain't shit, and you're beautiful. I don't know. What's what's the secret that's coming out for this uh, King of Swords in reverse? Uh, and and it also could be the Ten of Cups. It also could be it could be you could be finding out this person married and got a whole doggone family for this King of Swords in reverse. But it also could be that this person is finally ending this relationship because he do want a commitment someplace to fuck else. And I feel like this this. Uh, King of Swords has manipulated his own intuition because he didn't believe that he was even capable of having a commitment or a family. But for some reason, he sees you as some type of family unit. Somebody probably lies about wanting a family with you, and it's a lie. It's like what they use to manipulate you, to get you to stay closer to them longer. They drag it out even more. And a lot of people do that. That's why, and it seems like holding on and time out. This is a lot of in and out, in and out. This is like somebody who tells you to hold on to them while they go fuck around and try to pursue something better than you. And then if it don't work out, they're going to come back and play and string you along a little while longer until they find something else. And then when they old, dusty, corroded, and limp penis, they, they, they want to come get married to you. And at this point, if you choose that... Why, why is they hiding it? Okay. The Six of Swords is in reverse there. Somebody feels stuck or sabotaged. Delayed. Stuck, sabotaged, or delayed. What's up? Huh? Bro, look, just here, lay right here. I might not be able to get you to Yaya. I might have to get ghosts. Oh, no, you ain't going to Yaya. Um, Zeus and Anonymous going to Yaya. Your ass need to go with Portia. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga here. He playing climbers in Somebody is feeling stuck in a family situation or dynamic. They're, they're feeling... Yeah. See, I hate that. I hate that stuck ass shit. People always like, I'm stuck. I can't leave. I can't get a divorce. I'm bound forever. I hate that. That, that Kurt and Rashida shit. Like, you just are dumb. I, I, I do. Stop. Stop. Um, bro, you got to go. Your little bitty nails hurt more than big nails. Go on with your brother and sister, bro. It's it's like they want it, but they're resisting it. It's it's a fickle energy, and who got time for that shit? This this person seems very thick fickle. It's like they're trying to hold on to something in their past that it, 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 it keeps them stuck emotionally and, it, and mentally to the point that they're not able to have happiness because they don't believe they even deserve it. And they quit to succumb to temptations. They, they, that's why they're flighty because they somebody... So, and it's, it seems like this is someone who comes to, well, let me see. Tell me, why are they stuck? Why do this King of Swords in reverse is acting like he's stuck? The Eight of Cups. 
Eight of Cups is in reverse. Okay. You dealing with somebody that, that deals with you how someone else deals with them. I'm going to tell you. Because this is somebody who, somebody leaves them and come back whenever the fuck they feel like it. Or whenever they need something, whenever they want something. Then this, when this person gets left, they come to you and they come back and get whatever they're lacking over there from you. So you're being used. I'm, I'm, hey, 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 hey. I just got to put it on the floor. So put it on the floor. I have to. Somebody is used. This is the, the, the indecisive energy. But this is someone who's also hiding their, their devil. This is a manipulative energy. They know how to manipulate your emotions on a family dynamic. It's like they want to pursue it with somebody else based off of a partnership. But in the end, it's like emotionally, they're somewhere else. But financially, they're somewhere else. And they don't know how to separate the two. Watch the Eight of Cups in reverse. Why are they stuck? Okay. You got the Eight of Pentacles and they're working. And the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. And they don't want to put no work in towards you. They want to put work in towards a job. They're lazy. Or whoever they're dealing with, they take care of certain things for this person so they don't have to do it because this person is lazy. Like, this is like somebody who says, I don't have no credit, but I want a car. But they don't want to get a credit card, pay the credit card, and keep up with the credit card to establish credit. They'll be like, fuck it, I'll go get this bitch, this bitch will do it. But then, talking about a family with somebody. And naively, or gullibly, or desperately, I can say what I want, desperately, you fought for the bullshit. Or have failed. And this could be a sense of you, like... No, because now you're in the energy of, no, you know, like Smeagol, no, mm -mm. we're not doing this again because now you're more self-aware. Now you're headed towards your new chapter. Now you're looking for a stronger romance, somebody with mutual feelings and perspectives as you, views, chemistry, all of it. You want it. I feel like whoever this King of Swords is, it's not a mutual chemistry. It's a like, but not a mutual chemistry. It's like when y'all kiss this person, kiss your chin and not your bottom lip. It's just weird shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like when they try to lick. <laughs> y'all know what's up. What's up? That's so terrible. Ain't that terrible, bro? That's just terrible. Close the book. See, this person is unstable. They're not grounded. See, this is someone who can work their ass off but terrible with money. I'm telling you, they don't know how to handle their money. And they seem like you you could do it better. But see, like I told you, those kind of people envies other people's stability. It's like they got it, but they don't know how to manage it. And they look at you like, this motherfucker ain't got shit. But they always maintain their stability. They pay their bills. And, and you probably told them something like, you got insurance. Or you uh, you could have been cocky about something. And it was only just to prove a point. It wasn't you just out here being cocky. Like, for, for instance, I was cocky about having life insurance. Because how the fuck do you make $20,000 of money? You ain't got life insurance. Like, and it, it, what? I don't want to, and this nigga want to marry me? Boy, if you get your ass, you want to talk about marriage to me, but you ain't got life insurance. You ain't filed taxes, ain't got life insurance. And those are the questions that need to be had when you're dating people. You got life insurance, especially a man out here on his own. You you ain't paying your child support. You still going to jail for a 15-year-old bitch? Get out of my face. Stop. You still talking about mama issues at 45 years old and, and you never went and got therapy? Get out of my face. Look, would you leave me alone? What's what's wrong? Y'all got food? Here, go on, sit in there. Maybe that'll make you happy. Yeah, there you go. It said, if you have been feeling static around your 
you or a heaviness that you cannot explain. This is a call to ground and center your energy and stabilize your auric fields. You are constantly surrounded by waves of energy, natural and man-made. Anytime you feel foggy in mindset or distracted, take time to cleanse and ground your energy. This helps with vitality, clarity, and health. You are drunk. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't. It's the niggas. It's not the females. This helps with vitality, clarity, and health. You are drawn to this card today as a reminder to get your body in touch with nature. It has been too long since you were barefoot feeling ooh, the ground between your toes. Grounding can not only release negative and stale energy from, excuse me, from your body, it can allow for the vibrant energy of Gia to return to your being. Go hug a tree. <laughs> Go hug a tree. Dive in the ocean. Take a walk in nature without shoes. And take some time for an energy exchange with Gia. Overstimulating can stimulation can cause you to experience a feeling of being burnt out or wanting a, to retreat. The simplicity of a grounding practice can offset these feelings. While you can use tools such as crystals to aid in this work, you are only need yourself to ground. Mm -hmm. The shadow side of this is aloof, flighty, unable to feel through the text statistic and overstimulize the affirmation i connect to the charging energies of the earth and what personal reflections what warning signs does your body give you when it's time to ground i feel like the high vibrational could be you and the low vibrational is the energy that you attract because remember this could be a, a pair but this person is low vibrational they're in their um, shadow energy. They're flighty. They're loose. They're unable to feel through the statistic. They cannot feel. They're overstimulated with society. You are more grounded and stable. Look at this person. They're off balance and it's not a pinnacles, but they work all goddamn day. You are towering people and putting justice. Justice has been given to this king of swords because he would not. And the justice is you going on about your business. You being happy without this person. And they're being forced to see this because it seemed like they didn't went through hell on earth since you all had this justice. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here though in reverse? See? They're disloyal. They're not uh, growing how they could be growing. They live in the dark side a lot. Because they're trying to compete with society. They're worried about what society says about them. And that will be envy. Little do you know that could be envy. Somebody who do not care about what society thinks. And they radiate this kind of energy that you're radiating. Look at this. You could be meeting a nice, sweet, sensitive queen of wands. And it could be a man. He could just be a sweet guy. And sometimes these kind of guys go good with a more dominant female. Because they don't rise to the occasion and to their woman is disrespected. To their family is threatened. Other than that, a, 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 a pleasant, quiet, a, a pleasant, chill fire sign really allows their mate to be who they're going to be. And then if anything threatens that, that's when they ride. That's when they get up off their pedestal and they be like, what's up? You, you see another side, you want to know I know? Because he ain't my mate, he my son. And that boy don't bother nobody. But say something out the way to me or my daughter. Say something out the way. Baby, that, that's another kind of problem I don't want to have. Because it's like once you see your child in that light, it's like, I, I, I raised that motherfucker like, who do you think? <laughs> when they get a certain age, because the little maintenance man tried to play with my daughter, I guess, I don't know if my daughter thought if he was for real or not, but she squared up with the maintenance man. And I was just like, oh, what? Wait, is y'all serious? Because I really didn't know. Because I've never seen her square up. <laughs> she had her face stand, y'all. My daughter. My daughter. <laughs> She put that foot up. She 
put that one foot in front of her ass and she did like this shit and was rocking. I was like, she was like, come on. And I was like, hold on, are y'all are y'all playing? She told the maintenance man to do something, dog. I don't know what had happened here. I don't I don't I don't know what had took place. I came in in the middle of it taking place. But in the, in the end, it wound up being a joke, but it was funny in the end, too. I mean, but it wasn't funny at first. It was just, when I seen her do that, I was just like, hold on, whoa, whoa what's going on? Because I never seen her do that. I just never seen her get that about it. <laughs> I mean, she never had a reason to, because damn girl, who is my kid? See, that's why I said you got to check on your kids. You got to get in their business. That's why I said we had to have a moment. Because who the fuck are y'all? I don't know who the hell y'all are. This lazy ass ninja. I don't like him. He's boring and lazy. He got too many eyes. He's materialistic. That's what I feel this is. This is somebody who likes chaos and drama. And if it's not chaos and drama, it's not a relationship. If you're not chasing, if you're not attacking, if you're not... Uh, uh, doing any damn thing it's, it's, it's not a relationship This person is a boring ass motherfucker They're unreliable, unstable You can't call them for shit And like I told you, they're not fucking loyal They're just a manipulative con artist They're a fucking rolling stone Oh, never had shit, motherfucking bitch That's a motherfucker never gonna get rich <laughs> What's the outcome for this energy spirit And that's just like these Page of swords, watching, lurking, stalking Lying, sneaky little bitch seven of pentacles this see they brag on what they got they brag on their investments and and what they they waiting to come in and what's about to happen next and they they will people in like that they be like i got a seven thousand dollar contract i got a ten thousand dollar business deal going on so you so they do this to give people to lure you in to stay around so you can reap the benefits of that ending you think you're gonna deal with this person's stress you know, some women do that. They do that out of desperation, out of believing the person. Sometimes you genuinely want to take the initiative to believe that person. When they fold every time, they just some stupid, stupid stinking winches. They fold every time. So once they fold the first time, it's time to go. And it's okay if you give them a second time. That's your choice. But you know, first time, shame on them. Second time, shame on you. You get the third, fourth, 10, 11, 12 times. Then what is the problem here? What is wrong with you? We always try to say, he hurt me. He did this to me. She did that to me. She didn't know. You did it to yourself. You went back. You allowed the lie to lie again. <laughs> See, unstable creature. A manipulative, unstable creature that lies about their stability and their longevity. Get your ass off my cards, bitch. See what I'm saying? You dig? You dig? You dig? Let's see what this lie about. What this lie about, spirit and ancestors? Why? Why'd you say what the lie about? Shit. His investments. And I think something unfolded on him. And, and, and I'm telling you, I, I, y'all want to know something? I bet you every time this person play a game on you, shit go fucked up in your life. Not only with relationships, other females, they always come run back to you for one particular reason. Because things fuck up in their life and they need it to fuck up in yours. And when it don't be fucking up in yours, I don't care how down bad and basic you are. Whenever they come back around, if you are down and then they come back around again and you are up, it, 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 it drives them insane. Tell you about the seven of pentacles. I fucking tell it. Didn't I tell it? Didn't I tell it? They're addicted to fame. They're addicted to lies. They're addicted to bragging about what they got and what they do and where they're going in life. They're addicted to that mentality. They're obsessed with the, the money, the, the, the material wealth. This is somebody obsessed with material wealth. But they have to... This is somebody who won't hire the subcontractor to help them. They got to do it all so they can keep all of the money so they can live up to that particular status. You want to know why? Because that's how much debt they're in. This is somebody who want to buy, pay $2,200 a month for a vehicle. $2,200 a month for a vehicle. But house falling apart. Instead of getting a vehicle for $1,000 a month. And that, that $1,200 go towards the house. 
So this is someone you're never going to see at home. You're never going to be with, for real. It's not going to be real dates and stuff like that because they're going to be working their stuff, eight of pentacles, working their stuff to a doll. They don't have the independence that they portray that they have. What is the devil around this seven of pentacles? Fame. He wants to be seen. He wants to be known. Or somebody wants to be seen. Somebody wants to be known. Somebody could be obsessed with watching your ass and how you're climbing up the ladder to success, to growth, to uh, your ambition and determination, your drive is pissing somebody the hell off because this is a victory. Somebody is addicted to having a fucking victory. So it's like somebody might actually get off on you letting them back in, closing the door, and letting them back in. And they know they're able to succeed doing that with you because of what? You're weak. And I'm not saying that to hurt your fucking feelings. But you are weak to something that some something in this person's devil has triggered your devil. And you allow this person to, to degrade you in this, this terrible ass fucking way. So go on ahead. Sit down and cry that bitch the fuck on out. Cry the fuck on out. Because when they return this time, you're going to be grounded. Not only are you going to be grounded, you're cutting out things that no longer to serve you. It won't be a return. This, this, you about to fight for your life. Your self-worth, your self-value, and your dignity this time. Because you're not about to be played with nor juggled. What's the success? Why is the six of wands here for the devil? Juggle. Didn't I just say that? Balance. And somebody can envy your balance. In a fight. I, I told you, you, this is about to be a fight for your life. This is about to be a fight for your dignity. Because this is a sneaky bitch. This motherfucker is very much so sneaky as hell, y'all. They have no genuine... They're very disingenuous about everything because they're not real. They don't accept accountability. And justice is being served. You want to know what the justice is? You choosing you. Okay.